guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm really excited about this video. This was actually a request from one of you guys, and I thought the video idea was so cute that I had to do it. If you guys watch me regularly, you'll know that I say a lot of times in hauls or favorites videos or any videos where I'm using products, oh, that's, gotta shut that, <laughs> that I bought it off of Jessica Braun's recommendation, which if you don't watch Jessica Braun, she's my favorite. Jam Beauty 89 is her like screen name, or if you type in Jessica Braun, also screen name, this is not AOL, her username, I don't know. But I love her, I've been watching her pretty much from the beginning of her channel. I just, I, she and I have a lot in common, makeup, musical theater, Disney, I love watching her family vlogs. And as far as like makeup goes and like beauty and skincare and all that, she gives great recommendations. And for me personally, she's very similar to my coloring and we have the same skin type. So I just like, you know, what usually works for her formula wise, color wise, as far as skin goes works for me so that is awesome and I know that I'm that way for some of you guys so but yeah and of course me and her talk about the a lot of the same things on our channels just because we're in the same we're doing the same kind of thing but these are products that I specifically bought because Jessica Braun recommended them so there's a ton of products that like she talks about that I use but these are the ones that like she talked about I went out and bought because of her. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Of course, you've heard me talk about a lot of this stuff before, but um, just I thought it'd be cute to put it all in one video, tell you what I think about it, what she thinks about it, and if it worked for me. So let's go ahead and get going and give this video a thumbs up if you like Jessica Braun as much as I do. So I guess we'll start with concealers. I don't really have any foundations. We both do use the L'Oreal foundation that I love. I don't even remember what it's called. Infallible Freshwear but I technically bought this because of Tati. She raved about that for months and I bought it because of her. I'm wearing it today, it's my favorite. But I do have some concealers that Jessica Braun made me buy. She forced me. So this first one is the Flower Beauty Concealer. I have bought the foundation as well, but I still haven't tried it. I know I'm terrible. <laughs> I held that like a month ago, I need to try it. Just makeup is so overwhelming, you know, there's so much to try, but I, Bought this with the intention of using it under my eyes. It is not as bright as I like for under my eyes, and I don't like anything like super bright, but this is the lightest shade, which stinks, because it's really not that light. And this is the shade Fair. But I love this concealer for spot concealing around my face. So I have some like breakouts along my chin, discoloration and texture on my cheeks, and this is what I use to cover those up, and I love it. I have never used a better like concealer on my spots. This covers up redness so well. It covers up everything. It's pretty creamy, so I don't really know how much I'd love it underneath my eye anyway, because I feel like it would crease and kind of slide around, but I love it for just concealing my spots around my face. So love this. It's from Flower Beauty, if I didn't say that. Drew Barrymore's line, I think you can get this at Ulta. That's where I got it, but I'll have it linked down below, but I love it. And then this one, I still remember um, my sister-in-law showed interest in this, and I was like, oh, I don't know about that. I just bought the foundation. I'm loving the foundation. And then I saw Jessica Braun, I think she did an Insta story or it was like a vlog where she showed one eye done with this and one eye without and it made such a difference that I like sent the picture to my sister and I was like, we have to buy this. And so I did and I think it's great. I don't love it as much as my Avocado Bendy Concealer from First Aid Beauty, which has been my favorite concealer lately, even though I ran out of it, but like that concealer was so just kind of no fuss, didn't crease, didn't look too cakey, didn't look too heavy. And I should also say I'm kind of in a moment right now where I'm not loving the under eye situation because I feel like it makes me look older. I have really dry skin around my eyes. So if I'm having like a bad skin day, concealer and powder under my eyes just makes the dry patches even worse. So I'm not loving an under eye concealer at the moment, but when I'm in the mood, and I did use it today, even though I have hella dry patches, but whatever, I do like this. I don't know if I love it, but I also feel like I haven't tried it that much because again, I'm not into the under eye moment. Doesn't crease on me. I would prefer something a little bit lighter. I picked up the shade Ivory 330, which I know that there is lighter shades, but I was just kind of, it's always so hard. So I don't want to get something too bright or too dark. So it's, it's always a gamble, but, I do like this and the coverage is great. So that if you if that's what you're looking for, the coverage is amazing, the price is right. And yeah. So that is it for con Oh no, I have one more concealer. Now this one was technically sent to me in PR, but I wanted to try it because of her, so I'm throwing it in this video. This is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice concealer. They sent me the shades Fair and Light. I used the shade Fair under my eyes. I showed this in my Sunday morning routine, which I will link up in the corner. I have really been liking this on days where I'm using like my BB cream. And if I do need a little bit more coverage under my eye, I will use this. Um, I don't typically use a stick concealer under my eye, but I really don't even have that many stick concealers to be honest. But I love this. It's really creamy and workable. I like to use a little luxy flat top brush to blend it in. And for me, if I don't use too much of it, um, I don't have to set it with powder, which I'll get to that in a minute. I do have some powders, but I feel like that is truly what makes my under eyes feel old 
or look old and feel old is powder. So if I could use a concealer for a little bit more coverage that I don't have to set necessarily, I reach for this one because I've been loving it for that purpose. It brightens, it covers, it's not too heavy, doesn't look too cakey, and I love it. Now on to powders. These two powders I bought specifically because she told me to, which first up, I haven't even tried this yet. I still need to, but Jessica Braun and Jaclyn Hill raved about this powder. She loves it. She just did a video on like her top picks from each drugstore category, which is a great video idea. I was gonna say if you guys want me to do it too, I could try, but I she uses a lot more drugstore products than I do, but still, if you want me to try, I can try. <laughs> But this was her pick for Maybelline, and I still haven't tried it, but I need to. My sister bought it because I told her that my beauty people were recommending it, and she loves it. So I'm excited to try it. Jessica Brown says she hates loose powders, but loves this one, so I'm excited to try it. But something I have tried and actually hit pan on is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. This only comes in three shades. I have the lightest shade. The packaging is gorge. I didn't even show you before I opened it. It's like rose gold egg shape. I have hit pan, which I feel like wasn't that hard to do. I feel like it's usually much harder. Um, I could probably use a touch up right now. She loves this for under the eyes, which, oh, I'm creasing even though I've set. I don't know if I love this, you guys. I've heard amazing things. I am totally creasing and I've used this powder. I think that this powder makes my skin, first of all, it settles into pores. Like it, you can see it in my pores, which I obviously hate, but I really... I don't know. I feel like under eyes, it's okay, but I still definitely prefer my Bare Minerals powder duo that I use all the time. Here, I'll get it up. I can link this down below too, but I actually got, got, mm. I actually got this in a boxy charm and I'm so glad I did or else I probably would have never discovered it, but it's a little powder duo and it comes with a matte and light side. And this is like the invisible light line, which I have something from that line later on to show you. Um, but I love this and I mix the two underneath my eyes and I find that a little bit of the shimmery powder just kind of doesn't make my under eyes look so cakey and it also brightens them and just looks what I think looks great. So, although I've heard many people rave about this powder, I don't see the hype on my skin personally. Um, it's okay as an under eye powder. That's the only place I'll use it because like I said, it settles into my pores and I'm like, why, why? <laughs> so I will use that up, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. And speaking of the Bare Minerals Invisible Light, this is the Invisible Bronze. She mentioned this and I love this bronzer. It makes me want to try more from the Invisible collection, if, like if they have blush and highlight, because I love this bronzer. I'm wearing it today. It's very light but buildable, and since I am fair and I have freckles, I have to be very careful with, you know, um, orange tones or too brown of a tone. This to me is the perfect tone. It's buildable. It has the slightest bit of shimmer to it, which for the spring and summer I actually really like because I feel like in the sun it just kind of hits and the light reflects in a really nice way and you just look good and healthy. I don't know, I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, there's shimmer in that bronzer, I'm staying away from it, but I don't feel that way. If there's like full on glitter, obviously not, but a little bit of shimmer is great. But I've been using this ever since I bought it. So like beginning of the year, this has been my main bronzer that I totally love, would highly recommend. And I know it comes in more shades. I'm in the shade Fair to Light. So yeah, I will link that down below. I'll link everything down below. I can stop saying that. And yes, I'm dabbing my sweat because it's 5,000 degrees in this room. One more bronzer. This was actually my obsession last year. I haven't been into it as much this year, but only because I haven't pulled it out of the drawer. But this is the number seven maple bronzer. I'm pretty sure this is still available. I'm not positive. This is actually really similar to the Charlotte Tilbury packaging. I didn't even notice that, but I love the shade of this bronzer. I will get a swatch of it for you. It's just great if you have fair skin. Again, it's buildable, but it's very light. You, like, you can barely see that, but I love it on my face. It's a great formula, and that's pretty much like what I love in a bronzer is something that's the right tone for my skin. Obviously not patchy because a patchy bronzer makes you look muddy and awful, and both of those are not patchy on my skin at least. And something that's buildable so that I don't go overboard in the first hand, but if I like what I'm laying down, I could lay down a little more. My dad always says to me, you pick up what I'm laying down. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Wow. I just recently bought this because Jessica Brown forced me to. <laughs> this is the NARS Liquid Blush in Orgasm. I've tried this once and she loves cream products way more than I do. I love, like, squeeze me again. I love the idea of a cream product, but I feel like every time I use them, it just slides off my face. But I will say, this seems to kind of set itself. Um, I only used it once and it was kind of like on a really rushed, lazy makeup day. So I don't really want to say anything about it because I, I don't know how I feel about it. I do like the color. I guess I can show you. Love that it has a pump. Like how great. And what's great is you only need like the tiniest bit. Like I put, you can't even see, that much. And it just blends out and it doesn't feel too like 
greasy. It kind of just kind of feels like it dries down to a powder and it's a really pretty color. So I will play with that more and let you know. So like in the next favorites video or something, I'll just update you. I have a highlight, which actually the next two products, technically I got off of Octoly, which I'm pretty sure she uses or used as well. Um, Octoly is basically like a website for influencers where you can trade products for reviews, but they are totally honest reviews. So I love that company. It's great to be able to try new products and kind of more expensive products in order to review them and give you guys an honest review. And it's kind of like, I'm trying the expensive stuff so you don't have to waste your money, you know what I mean? So I really like it. But anyway, <laughs> back to what we're talking about. She mentioned this and I was looking at it on Octoly. You can only order a certain amount of things. So it's not like you can go a it and just buy, oh, I cussed. It's not like you can go ham and just buy a bunch of stuff. So when she mentioned to this I was like ooh let me go get that and I'm not even sure that she got the same shade as me but this is the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer I have the shade 003 I'm wearing it today this is one of my favorite on camera highlights which like I know that's not very relatable it still looks great in real life like I love this highlight but it's one of my favorite for like on camera taking photos if you want that kind of like I'm shining from outer space look. <laughs> My other favorite for on camera if I'm trying to look a little more subtle is the Hourglass, any of those. I prefer the Brilliant one. It's a little bit more of like a yellow gold shade, um, but I love this. It's not patchy. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but in my opinion, I think it's totally worth it. And it's just beautiful. I know it's on my face, but I'll swatch it. It looks a little bit more like gold in the pan, but it comes out more of like a champagne on my face, which is the type of highlight shade I prefer. So yeah, just, I love that. She forced me to get it and I'm happy she did. <laughs> and then this she also mentioned, and I saw it on Octoly and I was like, oh, I gotta try that because Jessica Braun mentioned it. And I'm so happy that she did. This is the Clarins Ombre Sparkle Eyeshadow. I have the shade 102 Peach Girl. Anytime I wear this in a video, I have a flood of comments asking what I'm wearing. It's what I'm wearing today, but I went a little bit lighter with it. Um, but this is what it looks like. It is gorgeous. I will get a swatch going. And what I like about this eyeshadow is that like it works any way you want to use it. It's right there. Oh, it's so good. This is like my favorite go-to shade, which, oh my gosh, you guys, they are discontinuing my favorite MAC eyeshadow. They are discontinuing all that glitters. And I am devastated. I went in the other day to buy another one because I'm running out and they're like, oh, that's discontinued. And I was like, what? But it's kind of a similar shade to this where it's just like a really good all over the lid, kind of like rose gold bronze shade. Like I said, what I love about it is it can kind of be really heavy or dramatic or really light. So. I apply it with a brush. Sometimes I spritz my brush with Fix Plus. Sometimes I put it on with my finger. Sometimes I use glitter glue to really pack it on and it just kind of works in whatever way you want it to. Today I kind of just haphazardly put it on with a brush and that is the way that it will get a little bit of fallout but it's still nothing that bothers me so much. I love this eyeshadow and I should look at the other shades to see if there's something else that's like everyday wear because I just, I totally love it, so yeah. Another recent buy she made me do is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm, and I got the uh, flavor berry. I'm not loving the flavor, because it kind of tastes like the dentist. That sounded weird, but like it kind of tastes like the, tastes and smells like the scented fluoride I used to get as a kid at the dentist, so, and I hate the dentist. Ugh. But scent aside, it is gorgeous. You guys know I love with a deep, deep rooted passion, my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I wear it every single night and every time I'm putting it on, I'm just like, this is the greatest product ever. <laughs> so when I saw she mentioned this, I picked it up because people say not to wear the lip sleeping mask during the day because there's some sort of like chemical exfoliant in it that's not good to, for all the time. I don't know, but I bought this and I'm loving the look of it. It's not quite as glossy as my NYX lip oil. So if you're looking for more of like a really high shine, I would go with that, but this just feels good. It's moisturizing. It looks like a little bit of a gloss like you tried because I hate lip color. You guys know that. This has like a small little tint, but not much or not much different than my own lip color. So I love it. So. Yeah. And then last but certainly not least, and maybe like my favorite thing on this table, is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Dew Mist. I am obsessed with this and I almost didn't buy it to try it. I don't know what I would do without this stuff. I love it. This might be my favorite face mist of all time. Prior to using this, the Morphe setting mist, or the continuous setting mist was my favorite. And I still love that one. I just really haven't used it since I picked up this one, which I've been using this for a while and I still have so much left. So it really was worth your money as far as use, like you don't use that much. But I just set my makeup with this at the end of every makeup session and I feel like it brings a little bit of glow to my face, but nothing crazy, nothing like the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Or I even have some other ones that just look really glowy and really crazy. This is the perfect amount of glow while helping all your makeup meld together and also setting everything. So I am a huge fan of this stuff. It's like one of my favorite things you can get at the drugstore currently. I think it is 
amazing and because of this stuff I wanted to try more of the L'Oreal Lumi line so I'm definitely gonna do that but I love this if you haven't tried it and you have similar skin or like you want a little bit of a glow in your skin I would highly recommend this so much but okay guys that is it I hope you enjoyed this video I thought it was a cute idea so thank you to the person that mentioned it I should remember your name but I'm rude and I don't but Jessica Braun if you happen to watch this I am such a fan. I love all of your videos and I try to hype you up anytime I can. But yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have my face in some videos that you can subscribe and watch. So yeah, <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you very soon and I hope you have a great day. Bye.